Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's Friday morning. I appreciate you being here so early. I'm Daniel the Bearded, and tonight we have an epic live stream. Blue Collar Beards, come hang out with us, 10 p.m. Eastern, right here. Tell everybody you know, come hang out with us, have a good time. Beard, no beard. By the time the live stream's over, you'll probably want to have a beard, but it's not required. Just be cool and hang out, meet some new friends, talk to some old friends. We're all there. Today, we're going to be doing a review. That review is going to be on Copper John's Beard Company out of Utah. The owner is Tyson. And on the other side, I'm going to see if the Ionic Inland Sea Minerals that are in his products made a difference in my beard or did it not. Uh, I have a few new scents, a few new products to go over. On the other side, I'm going to tell you all about it and you can make your own decision. So, I'll see you over there. Welcome back, glad you stayed. We're gonna get right into it. First, we're gonna go over some of his mainline products. Uh, first in that is going to be Summer Citrus. You got the brown bottle, you got the ingredients, you got the scent profile directions. I love that it has a little window in the back, lets you know how much oil you have left. Summer Citrus is described as a citrus cologne with hints of apple and grapefruit. For me, I get more of a, um, a sweet apple. Um, I don't really, it doesn't really come across as a cologne to me. I get more of like an apple, uh, like a, you're in an apple orchard type apple. But in beard, the grapefruit comes through and keeps it from going overly sweet and makes it a really pleasant scent. So if I had any recommendations for this, I would be tone down the apple and bump up the grapefruit just a little bit. But all in all, great scent. Um, the ingredients are jojoba oil, meadow foam seed, argan oil, coconut oil, almond oil, sunflower oil, apricot oil, castor oil, vitamin E, and the ionic inland sea minerals, essential oils, and fragrance. Next, we're going to go over one of my favorite nighttime scents, and that's the last cast. My bottle is like seven eighths gone, so I'm going to have to get more of this and grab a butter as well. So the scent profile on this is coconut, acai, creamy vanilla, and sugar. So in bottle, you get that berry type scent from the acai, and then you get that a little bit of coconut. In beard, the acai kind of tones down and it melds more into a relaxing, creamy coconut vibe. And I mean, seriously, it helps me go to sleep. That's I love this scent. I've had it since he dropped it last year. Love it, gotta grab some more. Next, we're going to get into something he just dabbled in not too long ago, and that's the Greybeard series that he has. Uh, the first one we'll go over is the Polis. Different, you know, same logo and label, just with a few additions. Uh, the cap is now silver with white, frosted clear bottles. Uh, the ingredients on the Greybeard series is jojoba, castor oil, argan oil, camellia seed oil, coconut oil, olive oil, ionic inland sea minerals. So Polis is like a cologne scent. Actually, the scent profile is bergamot, basil leaf, oak moss, white patchouli, and cherry almond. For me, this is straight cologne. This is like a fresh cologne. Um, it's It gets... A little less sweet in beard comes across really well I enjoyed this scent if you like colognes like that fresh clean cologne you'll dig polies and the difference in the carrier blends between the two that I have you know the regular blend and the gray blend the gray blend worked a lot better in my beard um, I think a lot of it had to do with the castor and the jojoba uh, also that camellia seed works really well in my beard so polies the gray beard Good stuff. Next up, we're gonna talk about On The Rocks, which was like one of his uh, anniversary scents. Um, the scent profile is vanilla, coconut, pineapple, margarita, and sugar. So I have that in the butter as well. We'll go over that. Um, for me, it's like a tropical drink on ice. I guess that's why they call it On The Rocks, but it really is in beard. It kind of mellows out and you get you get less of the margarita and you get more of the coconut. You get more of the uh, the uh, sugar and uh, vanilla. 
sorry, brain lapse for some reason. But really cool tropical vibe on this. Really dig it. I'm into tropical vibes right now. So I really enjoyed this scent. Uh, the butter. Uh, the butter is shea butter, jojoba oil, meadow foam seed oil, cashew oil, argan, coconut, vitamin E, ionic inland sea minerals, and fragrance. The butter comes in a nice two ounce glass jar. Black top. Really smooth butter. I enjoyed this. I actually wore this butter at night a lot. I don't wear butter too much during the day uh, unless I'm testing, but uh, the butter performed really well. Nourishing conditioning butter. Didn't really get any hold from it, but really nice butter. Made the beard feel really soft. Um, like I said, I enjoy the Gray Series more than I do the normal. Um, like I said, it's probably the different carrier. Uh, last but not least for the oils is going to be Bourbon Bayou. He just launched this like last month. Um, the scent profile on this is Nag Champa, smoke, sweet orange, cedarwood, honey, bourbon, and tobacco. So in bottle, on, let me shake this up again. In bottle, all I get is Nag Champa with a slight bit of orange and the smoke. Um, in beard, I don't know if it's just because the the initial punch of that of I don't want to say spicy but that incense vibe that smoky vibe it kind of makes you go I don't know it, it, it's a lasting scent this uh, is my least favorite scent of what I have um, I couldn't wear it all day I did have to wash it out of my beard uh, I feel like this is going to be one of those love it or hate it scents. Uh, it may work well for others if you're cool with smoke and nag champa and you know that maybe you'll get a different scent vibe from it or it may dry down different for you but for me this was my least favorite scent um yeah like it just it didn't work out for me so the next product that he sent out is an on the rocks solid cologne Comes in this really cool tin. You pull it back, and then it's got the, the solid cologne in there. You just kind of brush your fingers or your thumb across it. You don't want to dig in. You just want to rub across it. And then you apply to your uh, normal cologne spots. Uh, he sent the pick, but you don't really need a pick. Uh, this, for me, was great. I, I really enjoyed it. I got five to six hours out of the application, and I applied it in four different spots. Really enjoyed it. This is my first go for a solid cologne uh the ingredients are beeswax jojoba oil and fragrance and then it even has you know the the uh how to use swipe fingers lightly across wax apply small amount to wrist and neck this was great for my first experience with a solid cologne um the next and last product i want to talk about super cool super glad he did it like i was waiting for some kind of company to do it with an all natural you know twist but this is his uh, Fowler's Bug Dope. He just launched a whole outdoors line with Fowler. Go on the website and uh, it'll tell you what's going on with this. So this is a natural insect repellent. The, uh, it says find Fowler's Makery and Mischief on YouTube. Uh, the ingredients on this is a proprietary blend with lemon, eucalyptus, and cedar essential oils. Spray on clothes and body as needed to repel insects. Good on everything but sandwiches. So I'm gonna have to agree with that. So you do get a one ounce spray bottle and then you get a four ounce refill bottle. It does come with a cool spout top that I really enjoyed. Um, he tells you up front, you may need to reapply this multiple times a day. Me working outside, I had to reapply multiple times a day, but it did work when using this compared to like off or some type of spray on stuff that you buy at a store. This I would much rather prefer to, you know, just it's small enough. I can carry it in my pocket and just spritz down a little bit and it kept the bugs away for a while. And uh, I was really impressed by it and I uh, can't wait to continue to use it. I will be reordering this. Thanks Tyson for this contribution to making my life a lot easier working outside. So we'll go over some pricing. Uh, for a one ounce oil in the regular blend, it's gonna run you 
In the gray series, it's gonna run you $21.95. So a two ounce gray series butter is gonna run you $21.95. Uh, the solid cologne in the gray series is going to run you $19.95. The normal ones are $14.95. And the bug out or the bug off, like I said, you get the one ounce spray, you get the four ounce refill. It's going to cost you $19.95. Well worth it on this. If I could recommend anything that you must have, if you're an outside person, if you like to hike, camp, work outside, grab some of this. Grab it and you will thank me later. So, all in all, this was a very pleasant experience. That being said, I want to talk about the Ionic Inland Sea Minerals that is in his products. So uh, on the website, I'm going to read this from what I have. Magnesium, potassium, calcium, selenium, chromium, manganese, plus other minerals found in seawater. So did it make a difference? In my opinion, no. But I'm sure with prolonged use, it, you may see a difference from it. Um, it's a solid product, absolutely solid product. I would recommend anybody grab it. Uh, that's why I became an affiliate with him. It is a solid product, but as far as the sea minerals, I don't see a difference in it than a normal carrier blend without it. I mean, it's a good carrier blend, so my beard cannot tell the difference if it has the, you know, the ionic inland sea minerals or whether it doesn't. Uh, that being said, it's not a bad product. It's not. I don't think it's going to harm you. It didn't bother me in this past week, not counting. I've been using the uh, last cast for almost a year now, so don't see any problems with it. Uh, come check us out tonight. We will have Tyson on the stream with us. Discounts, giveaways, um, but for now you can use DTBA15. It'll save you 15% on the website right now all the time but tonight we will have a bigger discount code and we're just gonna have some fun so yeah, let it grow learn something new today i'll see you later sorry about that